Hello YouTube! Today I'm the Naughty Librarian. I'm going over my June TBR list. I am so excited for all the books I'm reading in June. I think this is another really good curated list. I did really good with May. I kind of liked all the books I read in May. Shocker. I'm so excited. So I feel like I'm on a roll of like curating TBR lists at the moment. <laughs> anyway, so June, I have a whole bunch of different stuff to read. I am super pumped about it. I Let's just get into it. I just want to show you guys what I'm reading. Let's start out with something historical. So I have Lady Claire is All That by Maya Rodell. Basically, it's kind of like she's all that. So you have like a kind of a, a nerdy heroine. And then you have a fox who is kind of a you know, a, a rogue with a heart of gold character who uh, is it's very attractive apparently, but kind of not as smart as Lady Claire would prefer. And then, uh, you know, makeover ensues and then like they fall in love for real and I'm sure there's gonna be the whole trope of, oh no, these kisses were only supposed to be instructional. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. I'm like into it. And I definitely wanna try something from Maya Rodal because I haven't read something from her before. So I'm pumped. I think this is gonna be fun. I also have The Highlander's Promise by Lindsay Sands. This is the next book in the Highland Bride series. I've kind of just been reading one a month. And uh, I'm excited for this one. This one is about Ollie Buchanan, who we've met in several different books. He was at war and he got really injured, so he's very scarred. So Ollie's a very, you know, broody character. And then one day he's going to like their hunting lodge to chill. And he, and he sees this lady in the ocean. He's like, oh, that lady shouldn't be in the ocean. And he, and he saves her. And then he names her Jetta because she doesn't remember her name. She has amnesia. This is getting so juicy. <laughs> so of course you're going to fall in love. And there's probably going to be like some murder plot against Jetta because how else did she wind up in the ocean with amnesia? <laughs> but, um, oh, oh, it's Highlanders and amnesia. Like I, the tropes are just like vibing with my soul right now. I'm so into it. Oh, <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> You know, sometimes you're just in the mood for melodrama and kilts, and like, this is gonna give it to me. Also on deck is Not the Girl You Marry by Andy Christopher. This is kind of like that uh, movie, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, and uh, I, I'm kind of vibing with it. it. You know, it's a classic of rom-com cinematic history. So I, I am curious to see where this one goes. So Jack and Hannah, Jack's a journalist, and he's writing kind of like um, like BuzzFeed articles, and he's just like, I want to write something real. So he has to write one more shitty article to, in order to get like his dream job, and it's about how to lose a girl in 10 days. And then he meets Hannah, and then he's like, uh-oh, like, I don't really want to lose Hannah in 10 days, but then like, you know, complications. And then Hannah, she is an event planner, and she also needs to clean up her image and make herself look more, you know, um, settled down. So she needs a boyfriend and hey, he's looking for a boyfriend. And then she's like, oh no, but I want to keep him. I don't have I get my job. It's like one of those things. I don't know. It's tropey. It's a rom-com. <laughs> I'm like, I'm into it. I've heard good things. I'm excited for it. You know what? I am. I just want to see how it's going to go. I'm excited. I don't know how else to explain it really. I'm having a hard time like putting it into words, but I'm excited for it. I'm also going to read Sharp Ends by Joe Abercrombie. This is my Abercrombie of the month. And this one is actually kind of a collection of short stories. And I'm interested. It's gonna be like a lot of the characters we've met before and just like assorted adventures. And uh, it's hard to say what this book's about because they're all short stories and they're all different. But they all take place in the First Law world series. So <laughs> I'm fascinated. I'm hoping I get some like good chapters about some characters that I really have been missing and it's gonna be fun! It's gonna be Joy Abercrombie, it's gonna be stabby and dark and like gallows humor and I, I don't know, I want to read it. It's the last one I, I have to read before I get into like the next like big book so I'm fascinated. And it's short story so you know what? I'm gonna get a bunch of different stuff in this one. I'm kind of fascinated by it because I really haven't read a short story by Joe Abercrombie before. All his books are like 500 to 1,000 pages or something. They're really long. So I'm fascinated to see what he does with like a short book. Let's see how this goes. Also on deck is A Bad Deal for the Whole Galaxy by Alex White. This is a sequel to uh, Big Ship at the Edge of the Universe and I really, really liked Big Ship. I thought it was really, really good. It's good for fans of like Firefly, the TV show, because it does the things that the TV show does well in a book. It's like a, a kind of a group of misfits and they're trying to save the universe from bad guys 
and, and comedy and like action ensues and it's just kind of a space adventure but it's also a cheater space adventure because yes it is sci-fi they have spaceships they're going to other planets however it's also fantasy because these characters have magic so it's a good cheater sci-fi because you also get those magic fantasy elements that you would get in a regular fantasy but they put them in space. <laughs> so yes, space wizards, I'm totally into this. And I definitely want to read the next book because I love the first book so much. So I'm pretty excited for this one. I'm going to continue on with the series. Speaking of space adventures, I'm going to read The Stars We Steal by Alexa Dunn. And I've been meaning to read this for a while and just haven't yet, but it is, uh, it's a sci-fi reimagining of Persuasion by Jade Austen. So it's definitely gonna be super angsty to like a ridiculous degree. It's kind of also like the space bachelorette. It is about uh, Princess Leo and she has to marry someone to like save the family's finances and there was this guy Elliot that she had to like not be with in the past and he comes back and he's like I got money but I'm gonna be mean to you and she's like Bleh. drama ensues and space adventures and I've been wanting to read it you know what I do I, I like Alexa Dunn as a human and I think this will be really fun and definitely angsty and I'm kind of living for the melodrama. It's just gonna be space histrionics and I'm into it. Also on deck is The Good Luck Girls by Charlotte Nicole Davis. This is kind of a fantasy western and I am way into it. It's about these uh, girls who get sold to this welcome house. They don't say what that means in the blurb, but I'm assuming it's not a good thing. <laughs> And one of them accidentally kills a guy and they're like, we got to get the F out of here before we get caught. So they take off and it's kind of like sisterhood and protecting each other. And also um, there's like inhuman characters after them. So there's definitely going to be some magical elements. And it's just about these girls trying to get freedom and like, you know, bonding and like sisterhood and I'm into it. And also I've been like kind of really into Western-y stories lately. I'm like into them. I don't know why, but I'm like vibing with it. And this one seems really, really, really good. I'm really excited about it. Also on deck is The Unspoken Name by A.K. Larkwood. And oh, I've been wanting to read this. It's a high fantasy. Uh, the main character is an orc, and I haven't really read anything involving orcs before, so I'm like really into it. And it's about this girl, and she's like born to be sacrificed to these gods, and she doesn't really want to do that, but she's that's her duty. And then this wizard guy comes up, he's like, hey, listen, you could go get sacrificed or you can come hang out with me and like learn cool magic stuff. And she's like, fuck that shit, I'm gonna learn magic. So that's kind of the vibe of this book. And apparently um, she was really supposed to get sacrificed because the gods aren't happy now. So um, I'm into it. It's gonna be high fantasy. I've heard nothing but amazing things about this. And I'm, I'm just excited I'm finally gonna read it, honestly. I've like been hyping this book up to myself so much that I'm just dying to read it. I'm also going to read Steel Crow Saga by Paul Kruger and this one I am very fascinated by. It's kind of Pokemon inspired and I was like okay tell me more. There's magic and people fight magic battles with like magical animals at their side and um, they have like four very unlikely allies who kind of come together to defeat this monstrous killer who's using magic in evil ways and um i mean if you told me fantasy like based kind of with pokemon i'd be like into it already but then like the rest of the blurb sounds super cool too and also paul kruger i did see an interview with him at the social distance book fest and he seemed really cool so i'm definitely super into this book i really want to read it last book i have on deck for june is beach read by emily henry and this one's actually a buddy read with leanna from leanna's library shock of all shocks because this is not a book i thought leanna would want to read but she said she wanted to read it with me and i'm excited i think we might actually kind of do a live show maybe towards the end of june so stay tuned for more details on that but beach read in particular sounds really super cool it is uh two writers who are both like doing like a summer retreat at a beach house and well two different beach houses and one writer only writes like literary fiction that's depressing and one writes romances but they both have writer's block so essentially they try to step outside of the comfort zone and write something like the other person would write and it turns into a competition like who could write the better book and then it turns into like lots of kissing probably <laughs> so i am super excited it seems like a fun rom-com about writing books so it seems really fun and i'm super excited to read it 
Mm, so excited. All right, so those are the books I have on deck for June right now. Uh, so far, so good. I, I'm really excited about these. I think they're going to turn out really, really fun, and I'm so excited. They're going to be so fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like I have a lot of different categories all covered. I have some contemporary, historical, sci-fi, fantasy, all kinds of different stuff. It's going to be fun. Let me know in the comments down below, are you reading any of these books also in June? Or hey, what book are you super hyped about reading in June? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you want to see more videos, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!